So you see it's right out an equation here that x satisfies. Now you'll notice here, so quadrilateral, you just got to remember quadrilateral adds up to 360 degrees. They had the angles in there, okay? If it was a triangle, they add up to 180. But in a quadrilateral, they add up to 360. And it says right down an equation that x satisfies. Well, if we add all the angles together, okay, of course that should come to 360. So that's how we get an equation. Right? Literally add all these angles they give us, and only in terms of x, but add them all up, and we can say this is equal to 360. It's got it, okay? Every quadrilateral does. What we can do then is put the x's together, right? So 2x plus 3x plus x. Put the numbers together then, so 2x and 3x and x, and then I've got, oh, I've got minus 56. I put a plus there. It doesn't matter. I could, I could write plus 40 plus 100 first, and then put the minus 56 afterwards. That's okay. So then I've got 2x, 3x, and x makes uh, 6x. And then 40 and 100, take away 56. Well, that's 140. Take away 56, then we'll be 84, equals 360. Okay? So this is a bit of a challenging one there to work out. Um, but that's what you get. And then is it solve the equation? Right? So you've got an equation, and let's solve it. So what we do then is we take it over the other side. So we take the 84 over the other side. So we're going to take that away. When you take it over, you, you take away. Now, um, if we are to take that away, um, of course, this is a calculator paper, isn't it? So 360, take away 84, comes out as 276. Okay, so 6x is 276. And then to get x, we then, because this 6x is 6 times x, isn't it? So if I take the 6 over the other side, I have to divide 276, divide by 6, and I get out my answer for x to be 46.